makes that illegal. Before I came up on this stage, there was a mother that talked to me about her son that is currently being prosecuted by federal prosecutors for activities with medical marijuana here in this state. And I will tell you right now, that's going to the Supreme Court and I will do everything I can to make sure the Supreme Court knows the law of the land is the federal government must respect the state's rights to determine the legal use of marijuana. One other, a couple other things just to touch on. I believe legalizing cannabis is number one, a freedom issue. But number two, it's a compassion issue. One of the greatest sins that we have had to experience as Americans is that our government has suppressed, suppressed the actual research into the use of cannabis that could be used for the benefit of man, humankind. The fact is for a hundred years when we should have been understanding that there are medical uses that will alleviate the suffering of our people and that type of research has been suppressed. One university, University of Mississippi, investigating one strain of marijuana, that was a cover for the fact that the, that the people did not want the word to get out. Now, I don't know who the power players are. Maybe they just want to tell us what to do with our lives. But maybe they also represent interest groups in our country that make a profit off offering something alternative to cannabis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave with this when we talk with Camp Compassion. At long last, the American people have been alerted that we've got a fundamental problem with opiates in this country. And today, it's up to all of us to make sure that the federal government recognizes and that the research verifies it so we can speak with a loud voice. Cannabis is not a gateway drug to the opiates. Cannabis is a way out of addiction of the opiates. Cannabis is a way that we can prevent people from being addicted to opium. And once they're on the opiates, cannabis is a way of how we can wean someone off of that addiction. This is something we need to get the word out on I am proud to stand with John Davies and the others who have put this gathering together. We people who believe in freedom, believe what our country was founded upon, those ideals of limited government and leaving things to the state and local communities rather than having the federal government have all the power. We need to stand together, those of us who understand the compassion end of the cannabis debate need to stand up. We are standing up for freedom and compassion, and I am with you. God bless you. God bless our freedom. That is sitting U.S. Congressman Dana Rohrabacher came down here from Washington, D.C. to spread his message of freedom and, and personal responsibility with y'all. Okay, I have uh, good news and I got bad news. 